Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Where are we, Phil? Where are we headed to? We're just going into the uh, laser hologram display at Macquarie University. Excellent. Is it the world's, it's the world's largest, isn't it? There's some of the world's largest holograms in there, yes, and we're expecting to see one of, at least one of the uh, world's largest depth of field holograms. Fantastic. Let's go check it out. This is the Macquarie University uh, hologram display for works of Paula Dawson, who's a very famous hol holographer. Um, some of the works have been on display here for the first time in quite a number of years. Cool. Holograms. Let's go check them out. That's really hard to see, but we're looking through a window here, and it's it's it looks like a real room, and but it's actually a complete hologram. Very cool. And just to prove there's nothing there, there we go. That's the other side of the window. <laughs> there's. And you can see people peering through. And there's nothing there. Oh, and there's my wife, Nicole, look. <laughs> there she is. There you go, you wanted to see her on camera. That's her. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm filming her. This could be funny. Car in there apparently. It's a Gemini. It's a Gemini. <laughs> if you look in, in through the window, you see oh, yeah. the car, I see. and on the other side of the room, you can see the in the room. You can actually see into the other room, can you? Yeah, you can see the car and the reflection in the mirror. Oh! Oh, yeah, you can too. Yeah, you can see the car in the reflection of the mirror. Wow, how does it do that? capturing the, um, the full uh, field, the, the full wavefront field coming from the scene. So the whole scene is illuminated with lasers and they combine that then with a reference beam onto the panel and all of the light coming back from the scene is recorded in the panel. Right, we're on Phil. Phil's our token laser physicist. He does have a PhD in laser physics and he's going to tell us how this works, maybe. How does it work, Phil? <laughs> what are we actually seeing here? Well, these are laser holograms. So they're, they're created by interfering a single laser beam um, in a plate, like, like a photographic plate. Um, the plates each have a uh, holographic emulsion in them and they record wavefronts. So the way that the holograms are recorded is you have a single laser beam that you, you split into two and one is, becomes a reference beam which goes onto the plate and the second one is directed into the scene. So then the light that's reflected off the scene um, it interferes with the reference beam in the holographic plate and the interference between the wavefronts on the plate is then recorded in the plate and then it's just developed like a, like a similar to a um, photographic development process. Oh, so there's actually an emulsion type developing process kind of? Yes. Okay, yeah, so there's... Very similar to Right, so the actual plates are fixed, that's why they can't do animation or something yep. like that. Right, awesome. And Thanks then, for and that. Then to, yep. Sorry, and then to reconstruct the image, they have a laser beam which mimics the original reference beam, and then as that passes through the recorded wavefronts in the emulsion, then it reconstructs the original wavefronts from the scene, and then you can, you can look into the scene and see the scene as it was when it was recorded. Right. So this would have been a real scene. This was a real scene. This was a real scene that somebody has... This particular one, the artist actually constructed the entire bar. It's a working bar. Ah. He constructed the bar within the National Acoustic Laboratories. So a very quiet, very stable environment. And they brought in a bunch of people. They had a party. And every, every hour or so, they got everyone to move out. And they took an image of the scene. So you'll see as you look across the three panels, they're all from different times in the party. Fantastic. You can be sitting at the bar in real time and then looking into the mirrors oh. but seeing the bar in a previous time. Oh, no way. 
cool. <laughs> Oh, you'd swear that's real, wouldn't you? <laughs> Reach out and grab it. Fantastic. So there's a pool table in the background. There's the dartboard. And as we move to the next panel across, you still see the dartboard, but now there's a... You'll notice that the sign is over there in this scene. There's a sign which has that written on it if we move to the next panel and there's the signs moved over there in this panel so Phil uh, would you want to explain like how they actually set it up inside here how they actually where the uh, where the actual glass plane uh, panes would be and how they set it up would you know that well this would probably be set up as you see it I mean the idea for the bar would be that the you would be able to go and have a drink in this bar and these plates would replace the mirrors at the back of the bar. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, got it. These, these plates would actually be placed at the back of the bar and got then it. they would have laser beams coming from the top yep. that would um, be split as before. One part of the beam would be directed directly onto the plate. That's what I was saying. Actually, maybe from this direction. Yep. And the other beam would then be split out to illuminate the whole bar itself. And then the reflected waves from that laser beam off all the items in the bar, hitting the plate, um, then gets recorded in the emulsion. Oh, we've got the schematic diagram. So you can see here, this, this is the bar. The bar yep. is the table, so you're looking into the sea, yep. and there's a the polygraphy plates here. Ah. So the reference beam on the laser is then split into three beams which each illuminate the plates. And Got it. somewhere also, I can't see it at the moment, but that laser beam would also be used to then illuminate the scene itself. Yep. And there you go, we can see that the depth of the room was actually six metres but because we, we were looking through the window through here and we could see the reflection of the mirrors up the back, it's actually at least a 12 metre depth hologram, which is probably um, the world's deepest. These are holograms of the actual items on the bar, but you can't actually see it, but I'm actually passing my hand through that object, which is very cool, or it appears to be, it's very cool. And we just came out of the world's largest hologram display. It was pretty cool, but we're walking back through the grounds of Macquarie University and it looks like they let the art students loose. Check out that shit. Anything will pass as art these days. Catch you next time.